Well, good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm at Greenmount Cemetery in Burlington, Vermont, which is a lovely place. And um, I'll be talking about this person in just a moment. But before I do, I had someone in the comments who suggested I include a map at the beginning of um, my videos to show where I am. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, that's, that's not good. Let me back up a little bit so you can actually see it. Let me just back all the way to the shade. There we go. Maybe. So that pink pin in the center is Greenmount Cemetery. So if you're in Burlington on Pearl Street, heading up the hill, heading east on Pearl Street, uh, Pearl Street becomes Colchester Avenue at the hospital. And uh, you keep going on Colchester Avenue until you're about to head down the hill towards Winiski. And on the right is the entrance to Greenmount Cemetery. Make sure to pay attention to where it is because uh, it's pretty easy to overshoot it a bit and have to do a wide turn into the cemetery. I may have some experience with that. So, yeah, there you go. All right, so thanks for the uh, suggestion. I love the suggestion. And uh, I'll, I'll strive to remember that each time I am someplace else. Alrighty, so the person I'm going to talk about at this point is Henry Adam Smalley. And let me, uh, he also has an obelisk. If you've watched uh, the Phelps, the uh, Edward Phelps video, then you know that he had a, um, an obelisk as well. The sign, it's uh, for eternal life, everlasting life. Pretty fantastic, actually. Let me just pan in a bit so you can get a better view, maybe at the top. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see photographs there. I have photographs of uh, this monument. When I f when at the end, when I finish telling you about him, I'm going to walk around as well so you can have a better idea of who's buried here. All right, so Henry Adams Smalley. I have a couple interesting. Um, bits to read to you, two separate things, so I'll be reading both of those to you. So he was born February 28, 1834 in Jericho, Vermont, and died May 13, 1888, at the young age of 54. Heck, that is younger than I am, uh, in Manhattan. And he's buried here at Greenmount Cemetery. He was a Civil War Union Brevet Brigadier General, who graduated from the U.S. Military Academy in 1854. Let me uh, pan in, so maybe you can read a little bit, or see a little bit better. He served in the Civil War, first as Colonel and Commander of the 5th Vermont Volunteer Infantry, having been granted a leave of absence from the regular Army. He commanded the unit until September 1862 when his leave was revoked and he returned to the regular service as a captain in the 2nd United States Regular Artillery. During his time with the Vermont Volunteers, he led them in the Peninsular Campaign fighting in the battles of Lee's Mill, Williamsburg, Savage's Station, and White Oak Swamp. He was subsequently detailed as Assistant Inspector General on the staff of Brigadier General Alexander Asboth. He was breveted Brigadier General, U.S. Volunteers on March 13, 1865 for, quote, gallant and meritorious services during the war, unquote. But his commission was not confirmed by the Senate until March 3, 1869. He resigned his regular Army commission at the conclusion of the war in 1865 and became a successful civil engineer and journalist. This bio was on Find a Grave by RPD2. I'll include a link in the description below. And then this one, the second, uh, second bit of information for you, Henry Adams Smalley, a native of Jericho, um, graduated Norwich in, in 1851, UVM in 1853, and the U.S. Military Academy in 1854, was a first lieutenant in the second U.S. artillery when the war started, meaning the Civil War, of course. He was commissioned the first colonel of the 5th Vermont Infantry in 1861, then returned to the second U.S. artillery in 1863. He was related to Ethan Allen by marriage and was a descendant of Stephen Hopkins of the Mayflower. This information, by the way, is courtesy of Tim Leno, a distant cousin, and I saw this on, the, uh, on Facebook on the, the uh, Vermont Civil War group. 
pretty interesting stuff. I just want to go back and revisit this, this uh, quote, gallant and meritorious services during the war. That usually means the Medal of Honor, but I looked it up. There, there is a site where online that this can be looked up, and he did not receive the um, Congressional Medal of Honor, just so you know. And if you're thinking, hmm, Smalley, there is a Smalley Park in Burlington, ding, 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 you'd be correct. Smalley Park was named for him. There are flags here, uh, as well as Lakeview, and I presume at Elmwood Avenue Cemetery, because uh, they're all, those are the three municipal slash secular uh, cemeteries in Burlington. And when you see a flag, it means this person served uh, in the military in some form, in some branch of the military. So I have been covering a lot of Civil War era um, people of late, um, particularly Medal of Honor recipients. As I just said, he was not one, but but um, but I find these these folks uh, really interesting. So, all right, so let's take a walk around and see who else is buried in this plot, shall we? So we know. Um, come closer here. Oops. I want to be careful not to step on any graves. So we see uh, Henry A. Smalley. Again, those dates, February 28, 1834 to May 13, 1888. And Eugene A. Smalley, January 26, 1839 to October 26, 1913. Walking around, we have Bradley Barlow, Barlow Smalley. November 26, 1835 to November 6, 1909. God, missing his birthday by 20 days. Caroline M. Baxter, his wife, August 4, 1837 to March 16, 1915. Coming along this side, I am not going to read all of this, but you can certainly uh, pause the video and uh, read it on your own or watch it on, uh, look at it on Instagram. And then coming over here to this side, you may uh, recognize the name David Allen Smalley, April 6, 1809 to March 10, 1877, because uh, Edward Phelps had worked in uh, this law firm with Smalley. Uh, Laura Barlow was his wife, uh, their daughter, and uh, um, looks like twins. Anyway. You can uh, read more about that um, if you pause it or go to Instagram. And then uh, looking also in the rest of their plot, we can see uh, some of the saddest headstones out there. We have uh, these crosses here. And uh, this is telling me a child died. Let me come closer so you can get a better view of that. Um, you know, I don't have any kids, but I have to say, no parent should ever bury a child. Um, they just shouldn't have to bury a child. So let me walk around over here so we can take a proper tour. See, I get to walk and get the exercise, and you get to hang out in your recliner. You know how this goes, right? The, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, cat in your lap, dog by your side, children at your knee, all that good stuff. Now, this grave stone, I mean, it's really askew here. Um, I'm a little concerned that it could topple. It's, at least it's not going to go down the side of a hill. Uh, but, um, but still, oh, and this one broke. I'm, uh, I'm always saddened to see that. Um, it's hard with frost heaps here, I have to say. Another grave, and, uh, If you use find a grave, by the way, I did not use their coordinates to find it. I, I just, I used the, uh, there's a walking tour brochure 
available online for free. And um, you can admire trees as well as people. I will say uh, the map was um, a little tricky to understand, but I am, uh, let me pause this. I can certainly talk loud, but even I cannot uh, fight with a, a jet flying overhead. So um, <laughs> that's why I paused it. I'm not sure you could hear it, but my gosh, I could. So these smaller graves, of course, have um, uh, nothing on the headstones, I can see, but it does have initials at the top. So David Allen Smalley, for instance, is this person right here. All right, so that's everyone in the plot. Pretty sure I got these already, but just in case I did not, let me uh, come over here. And uh, this is Laura, as you can see. And then I don't know what that name is. Moss, <laughs> it's Moss. All right, so this concludes my uh, video on, day, on um, Henry Adams Smalley. Thanks so much for coming along with me. If you like my content, consider subscribing. Consider sharing this video. If you, if you like it, if you really like the content, share the video and uh, join me on Instagram. I have a website that will be coming up soon. So, uh, yeah. Thanks so much. You have a great evening, and until the next one, have a great night. Bye.